don't have all the class time. Good. So here I have 3 times the square root of 32x cubed plus 4 times the square root of 50x squared, or 50x cubed. And again, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing is simplifying. Whenever you have to add and subtract, we have to have the same radicand. And they have to have the same root, which of course they both have the square root, so that's good. So to simplify this, um, 32 I can break down into 16 times 2 times x squared times x. Does everybody understand with how I rewrote that? I didn't change the answer to the problem. I just rewrote it as square numbers, or squared expression, or squared terms. right? Then we do the same with this. 4 times the square root of 50. Well, that could be 25 times 2 times x squared times x. And again, the reason why I like using this method rather than the factoring tree is it's just easier for me. All right? I'm used, I know my square numbers, and I know my square terms. However, I know some of you are not as um, quick with that, so you might have to use the factor tree, which is perfectly fine. Well, the square root of 16 is 4. The square root of x squared is x. So therefore, under the radical, I'm just left with 2x. Plus, the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x squared is x times 2x. Does everybody see that, Sheldon? Okay, 3 times 4 is dulce, x times square root of 2x, plus 20 square root of 2x. Now, I simply I look at this and I say, hey, I have the same radicand and the same root. I can combine them. So I'm going to combine their coefficients and leave the radicand with that to itself. So therefore, I have 12x plus 20x, which is going to be 32x times the square root <coughs> of 2x. Okay. Did you? Good job.